down to some oh some goodness. nitty gritty All right. crazy business. Let's look in the chat and see what uh, what folks have surfaced for us in here. Ooh, a mech suit walking around. That could be cool. Classic laser gun. Classic laser gun. Um, this is going to be up to you mm -hmm. in what direction. What else is that? Uh, we had some good conversations back here about communities and oh, thoughts yeah. on... Audio beer. Yeah. Woo! Classic. Uh, voice casting. You got a super cheese chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Curds, the curds. The curds, yeah. Right? Uh, perfect. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna leave it to you. You could you could go classic laser gun. You could go... Um, well, let me see what I have available to oh, me. Oh, well, please. Be my guest. <laughs> what am I using for, for sound playback? Is it just the... Yeah, PC. Okie dokie. Oh, where's my yep. mouse? I'm working with some pretty limited EQ range here <laughs> yeah. on these speakers. Okay, this is cool. Headphones? You prefer headphones? Maybe. I'll let you Ooh, do I it. Oh, I like that. There's a mech for you right there. Nice file. All right. Sound design in wise. Mm -hmm. I can do this. Okay, do this though. That cool yeah. sound that you're on. Double click that for this for guy. Me. Yeah. Okay, and then actually push the capture button. This one? Yeah. And now... What? Yeah. What is this? Yeah. I've not how, seen this how before. How about this? I rigged up that crazy keyboard over there, too. Well, that's so that's cool. pretty cool. you got to show me how that works later. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay, so you could use some of that for a laser. Oh, I'm going to use that for a mech. Oh, perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, all of these are full, eh? I need a new work unit. Sure. Was it this one? Yeah. Cool. There I am. Let's see what else is there. Holly Skyrene. Subtle. That's not bad. Ventilation. See, I really like drones. Yeah, yeah, I really yeah. like ambiences. There's so much mood there. I like that one. I'm going to take that. Okay. Let's see. Cool. So this is great. You're just kind of grabbing stuff out of Wise, dropping it into your own work unit. So is there a way to manipulate the, the WAV file? Or is it Yeah, sort yeah. Of so hit that. You can just start pushing on some of these. <laughs> okay, okay. See okay. what happens. All right. Gear going, and then... Uh, this will change the, uh, the playback position. I kind of want to. I want to shorten it. Ooh, pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let's try. Let's work with a with a with a with an event here. Oh yeah, great. So I'm gonna call it Mac. How do you spell Mac? <laughs> Mac. You did good. You did good. <laughs> and. Uh, this is a screen. Not really. I, I won't. It. I won't steal your screen. Um, so maybe I'll. I'll start by just throwing this into here. Oh yeah, favorite blend container. <laughs> just throw everything into you know, it. Why can't you use blend containers in the music system? <gasps> it really bothers me. Yeah. You know, it bothered me in 2015, and it yeah. still bothers me. I mean, you can lay tracks on tracks. Yeah, but you, you, you they blend. But they all have to be the same length. Or you start looping. It's yeah, like, okay, it's okay. very, very locked into traditional music. I, I could feel say. you. Mm. I feel you. The illusion between hierarchies. Yes, definitely. Um, oh yeah, getting um, parametric too. Let's see. Uh, what am I going to call this? 
I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I'm stealing your mouse okay. for a second. Just make sure we keep an eye on that. Awesome. I do like that you can control, oops, what did I just you do? Did Sorry great. about that. That you can control um, all kinds of different things inside of event mm -hmm. containers, right? So I'm just going to... I'm just going to set this RTPC. Um, let's see. I'm going to set it to 100. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start it at. I'm going to start it at zero. Yep. Beauty. And then, actually, I'm going to do it over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a nice slew rate. Ooh. Love me some slew rate. Uh, let's give it like three seconds. Awesome. And then set that, and then I will I'll reset it right. to zero uh, at the end of that three seconds. Yep. So a little delay offset there. And then I got to make it do something. Got it. I'm going to make it. Let's see what would be cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crunchy and crazy. I love that sound. Okay. <laughs> uh, try the greens one for me. This one? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> That's great. All right, okay. So I'm going to play with that. Yep. I'm going to throw an RTPC on that. Um, what was it called? Time between emitters. Mm, yep. Time between emissions. Beautiful. Wait, default work unit. Mm -hmm. um, th this is another beef I have. Tell me. It's this. It's oh. this. Why do I have to do this oh. every? And when you back out and you yeah. go back in, okay, maybe not. But I'm gonna I'm gonna close this. Yep. And then I'm gonna open it again. Yeah, you are. And wait, where was it? Mm-hmm. Uh, I've lost it. Where did I put it? Where did you put was it? it? <laughs> Was it? It was inside this guy. Yep. Right now, I have to zoom again, again from yep. scratch. It's killing me, especially when you're working with micro values. Oh, Fair. Not fun. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Noted. Like like this, right? Yeah. Um, yep. I see it. I feel it. Mm -hmm. Like five thousand, really? That's my first mark right here. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. What do I want this to be? Or just let's. Oh, it's doing something cool now. It's not. Is this not affecting things? Maybe make it more extreme. Like, mm. Oh yeah. I think I think it's the values are too big. Okay. Let's stop. Let's stop. And <laughs> <laughs> see what's actually what good values are. Yeah. Actually. Okay. Good. That would that would be more effective. Fair. Right, so 8.46. Were you working on time between emissions? Yeah. yeah. Right, so we're looking, Two we need to eight. be using really little values. Right, our values ah. were just way too Yep, big. 2 to 18. So 17, 18. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, That's 40 cool. is already done. Okay. Okay. So we'll get my emissions. Mm hmm. And get my parameter, and we're gonna say, move this out of the way. Mm -hmm. Right, it starts at a thousand. My God. Too high. <laughs> what did we say? Two. Two to eighteen, or yeah. forty gets a little crazy. Two to yeah, let's see. Let's okay, okay. Five. Oh wow. Let's just see what happens yep. when we trigger our event. That's pretty cool. Hey, that is cool. But it never stops. See, how do I how do I give that? Because I've never worked with with this format of Great. audio file before, so, so I'm not exactly sure how to how to turn it off. We got a couple ways we can do it, right? Because it just loops. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, we can put a an envelope. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so back to the eight R RTPC. Okay. Add one on the voice volume. <coughs> Amplitude. 
Yeah, sure. Uh, game port hammer. Oh, envelope. Default custom. Uh, let's see what that one does. Nothing. No. Uh, select it for me there, though. I think we'll need to modify that orange line. Uh, yeah. Isn't it? Is it the orange line? Mm, this isn't in it? here back in. Yep, yeah, that one. You think? Okay. I think so. No, because uh, I can't. I can't put just any this points one. on this. Yeah, but still. No, drag it down though. I'm on time. Yeah. See yeah, but that I can't add any points. Other direction? I think it's this one, okay, right? Because you got your attack a and sustain. Hundred sustain. Is that seconds? Maybe. Ooh. Let's find out. Yeah. Better. All right. So it's easier. See, we're feeling our way through this. It's a beautiful thing. Is my game parameter getting reset? Looks like it. No. No, it's not. Ah, but you were triggering oh, it here, is... not the event. You're right. Do you want to pin the event uh, in the That's transport? That's a great idea. Okay. Beautiful. It's getting better. Now you need some kind I'm of... I'm going to have to stop it. I'm going to have to stop it at the end. Okay. <laughs> Do it. Seven. Four seconds? Just be consistent. That's not three seconds, though, right? I think my envelope is too tight now. Okay. Um, where does the envelope live? Here. I'm not 100% sure what this orange line does, All to right. be completely honest. Um, but let's play with this envelope. Attack time, make it even smaller. Curve, decay, I want nice long decay. There we go. Call it a shutdown Great. sequence or something. I don't know. Um, let's give some, let's throw some texture in. Pinned. There. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's, let's, let's play with this. Yeah. Ooh. Where, what are you going for here? What's gonna, what's gonna make? Oh. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do. Yeah. All right. Hold on. A new trash. Say okay. You're fine. Okay. Just distortion default. Yeah. Great. Oh. If Matthew Martinson were here, he would say just add decapitator. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna see what happens if I throw a flanger on here, because flangers are great. Love flangers. Mm. Nice. 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 Yeah. You should hook that up to your RTPC too. Yeah, that's a really good idea. I'm gonna do that. Oh, there's something else I want. I want to put a little delay on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a tremolo? Tremolo could be cool. Let's hear it. Let's reduce the mix on that. Mm. The depth. <laughs> and now let's. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm totally putting an RTPC on yeah. this guy. Why? Why is it doing that? It's like my mouse is fighting. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, we'll start at a thousand. Okay. Uh, was that frequency? <laughs> you like that? Uh, there's screaming in the chat room from the sound of that. <laughs> okay. Where is it? I can I can control that with RTPC, can't I? <gasps> volume. You could just go with the volume on the uh, on the sound in general settings. But it has the thing. Yeah. Here we go. Do it. Mm -mm -mm. What do we say? A thousand to two to twenty. Okay, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Pop this up to a thousand. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. Save. Nice. Always save. Oh, we, I haven't put it in the sound yet. Yep. <laughs> All right. Busted. <laughs> let's put that into a blend container. Yep. Uh, we'll call it noise scream. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Oops. A lot of clicking sometimes. 
Oh yeah, sure. Okay. You just put the same one back in. Oh shit, thanks. That's okay, I'm covering you. <laughs> it's team sport. And then do I have my event? Yeah, I'll pin that again. Okay, hold That's on. That's cool. I wanna I wanna only hear that. Right. Yep. Oh, it's not doing anything. I'm not hearing that RTPC. Oh I know. Let's go back to the blend. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> okay. Back to the blend. Black to the blend. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Wait. Your effect is gone. My oh, it's is gone. it's got override. Yeah, do that. Yep. Yeah. Oh. That's what it was. Because you parented it. Yep. Uh. Yeah. That's, Been there. Done that's, that before. That's known. That's known behavior. Let's adjust the mix a little. Oh yeah, I like where you're going. Bring that over here. I thought I pinned that. When we were oh, that's cool. That is wow. Cool. I want way less of that though. Yep. It's cool, but it's heavy. All right, now we got to put an envelope on that. Yep, let's do it. Uh, RTPC. Oh, yep, there you go. Well, you can do it on the sound amplitude. too. Yeah, if that is envelope. amplitude. Um, is it going back to? Does it remember what I did? No, I should. Can you copy it? Not if it. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I can Try it. I, I dare you. I'm not from the modular. What about from? Did you use that on the friction scrape guitar knife too? Yes. That's yeah. The one can I you want. take that one? Yes. Hold on. Let's reset. Oh yeah, squelchy. But I gotta, it's, uh, I wanna stop it. I wanna clean it up so it fits, right? Okay. It's kinda overlapping yep. right now. I'll pop over here to the event. Mm -hmm. um, put a stop event in. Fade. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two second fade with one second delay. That's better. Except this one. This one needs a little bit of a, it needs little, a little fade. Yeah, and I think I need okay. to stop it sooner. Got it. Wait, fade time, delay. Mm -hmm. Let's make that a 1.9. There we go. Math. All right, I'm going to finish it off with like a nice big like impact at the yep, beginning. Yep, got it. Some kind of like. I wonder what we have in here. Yeah, dig around. Uh, unpin. Mm -hmm. Weapons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are whoosh sounds using sound seated air. Okay. Maybe not the impact you're looking for. Well, that's kind of cool. There's something there. Stinger. Uh, cool. Not right. Doors. Door could work. Ooh. Oh. No. I can take that. Okay. Okay. Grab that. Du, 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 du. Uh, mm -mm. <coughs> okay, so first off, I need to isolate that bang. Sweet! A real waveform! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first I'm gonna pitch that shit out of this. Yeah! Uh, pitch it. Pitch it good. Ah, 
pass as well as it goes, okay. Pitch the uh, blend con um, yeah, pitch the blend container down on top of it. Does that and, work? Yeah, does that, that work? does work. <laughs> yeah. All right, what else? I'm gonna tighten up that waveform, I think. Is that like tightening up the graphics? I don't know, I don't do graphics. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's throw a little distortion on there. I should have saw this coming. <laughs> I really should have. Let's use a different distortion. Great. So many flavors. Indeed. I don't even know what this is. Okay. Wait, I don't want an RTPC. You just want the settings. Yeah. Um. Ooh, yes. I like it. Maybe a, a touch of delay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put some delay on it. Yeah. That's too much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Dry. See, my dry is all gone. I like my dry. I don't want it to go away. All right. Um, maybe shorten it a bit. It's delay time. Whoa. The mouse doesn't always do what I tell it to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blame the mouse. It's cool. All right, uh, I don't know. Let's let's throw it on top yeah. and see what happens. Great. Um, pull down the mix right away too. I know it's going to be too big. Ooh. Yeah. Um, this is called clairvoyant sound design. <laughs> you know that it's going to be too big. And then I'm also going to give it a nice fade. You know, I really like that you put these symbols back in here. Mm. And for a while they were, they were gone. gone? It's like, we are not programmers. <laughs> we need the symbol. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We're, we are yeah. humans after all. Indeed. Um, I guess I'll, I'll give it. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Bam. Mm, needs more. Something metal. Ooh, yeah. Right? Needs a little metal. I forgot to pin it. Sounds great. Yeah. What about search the project? See if there's any metal in it. That's a good idea. Ooh, footsteps. Oh, well. I like it. Oh, I see now I see yeah. my way. Okay. Let's, let's navigate to it. I was hoping I could. I know. It would be nice. Let's see what else there is before I do that. Just Mac. There's a Mac. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> Oh, for a second. Hey, there. wait. <laughs> Who put that there? Rebound metal. That could be cool. I want to hear that. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, so I must no. Yeah, that no. one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. I'm going has... to take, take all of these, actually. I guess they should live inside here, maybe. Ooh. I don't. I don't want a random container. Though. Remember, you're pitching the bang down. Oh, that's a good point. You're okay with that. That could be okay. Yeah, let's stack them. Oh yeah, stack them. Big. <laughs> stack them and crack them. And then we're gonna not make the same mistake twice. Was that the one? Oh. Yeah, we got them. And then I'll pop this up in here, and then I'm gonna replace this. This. Wow, question coming in from the stream mm -hmm. uh, with regards to using WISE as a tool to create audio for a game. So almost like using DAW, yeah. DAW as a middleware. I would say... Uh, uh, sorry, DAW as... Middleware, middleware as a DAW. DAW. Uh, I did it a lot in Anamorphine. Yeah. But and uh, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it now. Okay. Because uh, it can be really CPU heavy. Okay. But what I could do, what I would suggest, because it is a really creative tool, yeah, yeah, yeah. is use Wise Recorder mm, and just yep. bounce it down and, and then it, bypass the original. When you find that you've reached that limit and you need to collapse voices mm -hmm. or something. But yeah. stacking and pitching yep. and effects and stacking effects, yep. like that gets heavy really fast. Yep. 
So absolutely something you can do using Wise as a way to mush together sounds. Uh, as Beatrix mentioned, there's a, a recorder effect that will bounce the output of a container or containers to uh, a single wave file. So you can do all that sound design in Wise, uh, bounce that content out. You're really only limited to the licensing for the content that you feed into it. So if you're recording, uh, you know, vegetables from your fridge and um, screwdrivers on the wall, you're you're all good. Here's a question. Yeah. If you were to use like MacDSP or distortion or something, and then you bounce it out and remove the plugin from your project, where's the legal like gray zone in that? Uh huh. It's gray. <laughs> it's very it's gray. gray. <laughs> um, good question. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have an answer for that one. We're gonna leave that to the legal people. All right. All right. So use your uh. tools wisely. <laughs> uh, and and only like use what you pay for. I want to make this nice and nice and wet. Oh, so yeah, is there yeah. a convolution in here somewhere? Yeah. Where does that I'm live? I'm pretty sure here it is. is. So yep. the convolution was free when I did anamorphine, and I used oh. it everywhere. It's beautiful, and now it's not free. <laughs> it's not free Sorry. at all now. Yeah. You could write your own convolution plugin though, and then it would be free. Sweet. Okay, I'm gonna do some more distortion. <laughs> this is a surprise to no one. <laughs> I don't know. What do I want to use? Let's see. Let's use this one again. Yeah, keep going. I've never used this plugin before, actually. Hmm. Uh, you know, you have to justify everything. So. I know. Okay, there's nothing going on right now. No. Harmonic control. Yes! I want to be a little more subtle on this. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to move this up. No. Uh, how do I... Here we go. So you just changed the order there. That's so that you can feed the distortion into the into convolution. The Got it. Ooh. And that's just the metal we're hearing right now. So now if we play them all together. So I've got three metals in here. I'm going to try something. Uh, questions coming in about certifications. Do we plan there to we make go. the certifications on the 2019-2020 versions of WISE? Uh, we will be updating the certifications, so yes, please stay tuned for that. There, I'm done. <laughs> I like that it's different every time. Wow, that it's is good. It's been shot by missile and is going into shutdown mode. There, back right. Step. If I close my eyes, it's almost a footstep too. Oh yeah. Uh, let me That's put a, this. Yeah, definitely. Let me put this into a soundcaster, if you don't mind. No, not at all. Uh, soundcaster is great. Let's give us a new. Looks like we got something there, and I'm just gonna put it here because I want. Well, if you finish with that. So okay, okay. You okay. gotta like. You gotta randomize <laughs> some shit if you're gonna just trigger it over and over again. Oh, fine, fine. Now right. I'm leaving that to you. You're the sound designer. <laughs> well, uh, let's randomize the pitch. Cool. That is right. You can write your own plugin to use in Wise. There's extensive documentation online that will walk you through those steps. You do have to be a bit savvy on that whole programming side of the world, but you can do it. It's not, it's not that randomized. It needs more. Tell me when you're ready, because I'll <laughs> I'll act it out. Oh, nice. I like it. Uh, it needs more. I mean, I don't know. Let's go extreme and see yeah. what happens. Because I'm not, I'm not hearing it enough. I'm ready. All right. Hold on. Let me, let me open the... <laughs> nice awesome. work! Cool. Ah, this is it. Live <laughs> sound design in Wise. 
with just the stuff that we put in the in the box for you. This is the the um, Wise Audio Lab sample project that mm, you can download nice through the Wise Launcher. Yeah. I mean, dang, <laughs> like it's like almost ready for Transformers. Michael Bay gonna come calling, looking for you. The interactive video game. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I think they did some VR too. I actually VR. I did a mech game once for Global Game Jam. Yeah, I think that was Global Game Jam 2017. Nice. Yeah, it's out there somewhere. It was okay. a good one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> game jams. I've never yeah. done one. Global Game What'd Jam is how I met Artifact 5. Got it. Started my career. Okay. I love game jams. They're fantastic. Yeah. 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 Uh, this isn't the kind of... You don't always have to like stay up all night and, and work for three days straight with a game jam. You don't have to do anything. Right. Got it. Man. <laughs> I this usually might, do. <laughs> this might be how you like to spend your time. I only will do one or two a year. Yeah. It's exhausting. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, but it's so creatively exciting. Yeah. And you meet some really cool people. You make some really cool stuff. And what I really like to use game jams for is challenge myself. I always, every time I do a game jam, I try to do something I've never done before. Mm -hmm. So then you've got that intense, you know, because it's also kind of a frenzy. Yeah. And, and, and there's very little pressure. There's pressure, but there's no real pressure. Right. So you can take challenge, you can take risks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, and, and you're just, you're there, you're embedded in it, and everyone is just mm -hmm. working together to the finish line, right? Yeah, exactly. It's hot, fast iteration. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I've always imagined it as such. <laughs> Beatrix, it's been a, a delight. Uh, I appreciate you sharing your experience uh, in game audio with us today. Um, My pleasure. Mad skills oh, on that wise deck. <laughs> and like, I'm some nice source there. I, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to get to know a little more about this whole grain thing going on in there. That was cool. That yeah. was cool. I've never done that before. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean... What did you well, Never done it, but... Well, I did all the exactly. other stuff before. You know? uh, well, I, know, I know how to use wise. And what's, pretty good. what's great is you have those those wise skills, and then and then all it really was was put the put the tool in front of you, mm -hmm. and you you had these techniques that you could use to uh, to manipulate it. And mm -hmm. it was really great watching you work again. Yes, you got some mad skills. Well, thank you. Um, but again, to step into a situation where not a lot of preparation mm -hmm. uh, and just throw down like that, come up with something really cool. Awesome. That was fun. That cool. was really good. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that was it. Wise Up On Air. Digging it. Uh, enjoyed it a lot. If, uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, let us know. Drop a line at uh, openears at audiokinetic.com. Uh, take a peek back through the archives. There's some cool stuff. Uh, we talked to the Skywalker folks about their yeah, VR cool. work. Um, we had Tali from, from Audio Kinetic talking about spatial audio. We're going to rebroadcast that one. Oh, nice. uh, that one was cool. Uh, other stuff in the future coming up. And uh, other than that, thanks again for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, cool. pleasure. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.